Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. All right, y'all, it's almost New Year's Day. And I think I did the, show y'all the few things I have on New Year's Day. I did the chitlins, black eyed peas. But you know, the, the black eyed peas is for good luck, but you gotta have something for money. You gotta have something green. Now, my mama used to do cabbage or collard greens or mustard greens or turnip greens. I love cabbage. I'm not a big greens. Turnip green, collard green fan. I'll eat them, but I'm not crazy about it. I never have been, even growing up. I've never been a fan of uh, mustard, collard greens, or whatever. I love cabbage, though. Absolutely love cabbage. So, what we're going to do, I'm going to do some cabbage. You can put any kind of meat in cabbage you want, any kind of pork meat you want. So, I mean, y'all, wait, y'all. I got to get my pot heating up over here. Uh,. But I got some right here. I got some meaty. All this is when the butcher trim the hell, I gotta have some butcher friends, y'all. When they trim the uh those spare ribs, and when they trim those uh, neck bones and stuff like that, this is the meat trimmings that come off of it. See that little meat there? You can see some of the uh little chips that come off the the rib. You see a little bone in there, little cartilage. Yeah, they'll save these for me. Because a lot of people throw them away. And I'll get them. See, there's a little rib in the rib right there. And I got, I'm telling you, if y'all can find some butchers that good friends, I'm telling you, that's a, ain't nothing better than a good butcher uh, for close friend. See, y'all look at it. That's like a neck bone. Got a lot of meat in it. So what I, I'm going to do, I'm going to put, I say, no, it'll be good for the cabbage. A lot of meat in it. Of course, my mom was here. She wouldn't like that. My mom don't like a lot of meat in her beans or greens. Or she said, baby, just give me the greens or <laughs> the beans. But I like meat in mine. So what I'm going to do, y'all, I'm going to saute these onions off. And then I'm going to simmer this meat for about, oh, about 35, no, probably about 45 minutes. And let it get good and tender. Then I'm going to put my cabbage in there. And it's all going to fit in this little pot right here. i turn this over. Oh yeah, right here, I got heating up right here. So I'm gonna kind of saute my onions off first, y'all. Get them sauteing off a little. And then I'm gonna add my meat in here. I'm gonna put a little vinegar in there. Vinegar helps, I love vinegar in greens, cabbage, anything like that. It's gonna kind of help tenderize the meat. We're gonna simmer that meat, y'all, about about 45 minutes to an hour. Then we're gonna come back when it's almost tender. We're going to come back, and we're going to uh, add the cabbage to that and let the cabbage cook for about, about 30 minutes or so. I like my cabbage pretty much in mush. Some people like a crispy cabbage. I like my cabbage pretty much, not mush, but I don't like it hard. I don't like it crunchy. I like a soft cabbage. So when I got that cornbread with it, it all soaked together up in there. So let me kind of saute these onions up in here a little doesn't matter it's going to kind of sweat them down a little because they're going to boil they're about to boil to bolivian i'm going to throw this meat in here y'all and we're going to put some water in this bad boy you can put pork stock chicken stock however you want to do it in with it and let it boil of course, you can do this in the instant pot. I'm doing all my, not all of them, but I'm going to do this in here the old school way. Just put it on the pot here. Put it on the pot. Put it on the stove here. Well, we're going to let it simmer. Hold on, y'all. Let me get some vinegar in here. We're going to put some salt and pepper. A little pork stock. Y'all, just sit tight there. I'm not going to even stop the... Stop the video. I ain't gonna stop the video, y'all. Okay, I got some ham base here, and I'm gonna put it in there. You can use chicken. I got some ham base. See here, ham base. I'm gonna put some ham base in here. No, no, y'all. That's gonna give it extra flavor there. And I'm gonna put some vinegar in there, and then later on, y'all, I'm gonna come back and season it. See, I'm gonna put some white vinegar in there. A little white vinegar in there. And later on, come back and I'm gonna, of course, y'all know me, I'm gonna check my seasonings and re-season it. But for right now, that's all I'm gonna put. I'm gonna let this simmer. 
Like I said, it's gonna take about an hour. Or this is pork, it's take an hour for it to get tender. And we're gonna come back. Once it get tender, I'm gonna add the cabbage in a little by little and let them go a little. So anyway, we'll be back when the pork is like three quarters of the way cooked. We'll come back and add the cabbage. Old school cabbage and pork. Pork, what I call, pork ends, pork uh, bones. I'll think of a name by the time the video will come back. Anyway, we'll be back. All right, y'all, we are back here. <coughs> Look at this here. This meat done simmered down. It's like three quarters of the way cooked. I don't want to cook it all the way because I'm going to put the cabbage in there. And I'm going to cook my cabbage about 30 minutes or so. See that good flavored pot liquor? That's all flavor. And all I'm going to do, y'all, we're going to add this cabbage in here, y'all. I don't have to add no more liquid or nothing because y'all already know you cook cabbage enough. You know cabbage has a lot of liquid. And you know, I don't want soup, y'all. I want a little pot lick in there, but I don't want cabbage soup. I just want a real old, little braised cabbage here. So we're going to cover this lid up. And slowly but surely, the steam from this is going to kind of just what it called cook that cabbage down and i'll stir it as needed so i just put the lid on there and let it do its thing for about 30 minutes y'all come back and i'll show you the process and then we're gonna try some old school cabbage for new year's day dog we'll be right back all right y'all we are back all right y'all let me open this up and show y'all what we got here like I say, y'all, I didn't want a lot of liquid in there. I don't, I don't want uh, soup. Look at that, y'all. I'm going to turn this off. That meat is perfectly tender. Oh, my God. This is some good eating here, y'all. This is some good eating right here. Man. Like I say, I'm not a big mustard green or turnip green type person. But you give me some cabbage and some meat in it. Hmm. <clears throat> And it is on. It's gonna be my green for <laughs> for uh it's a light green, so it's gonna be a light money for me. I'm gonna be light <laughs> prosperous light financially in 2024, right? So anyway, I'm gonna step off, plate this up, and we'll be back and give it a taste there. Old school braised cabbage, we'll be right back. Alright, y'all, we are back here. I gotta get my weapons of choice, my hot sauce, my pepper sauce. Look at that, y'all. Like I say, all I need is some cornbread with this, y'all. But I got some cornbread coming later. But I got me a little pepper sauce here. I love pepper sauce on, because who don't love pepper sauce on, uh, on greens or cabbage and hot sauce. A little hot sauce on there as well. Got to have, got to have that, right? Okay, y'all. Going in here, y'all. Going in here. A little meat on here. Gotta get a good, good. Let's see, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Let me get a good bite here with the meat and everything on there. Here we go. Ooh, that got a little fat on there. It's definitely hot too. Let me see how hot that is. Look at that, y'all. Cabbage on there. Going in. Mm, mm, mm. Wow. Like I say. <clears throat> Ooh, that's good. Like I tell y'all, that meat so tender, see how tender they are. Get you a butcher. <clears throat> Make for it. <clears throat> Ooh, that hot dog. <clears throat> Make you friends with a butcher. Give you that little cheap cuts of meat. You can utilize stuff like this. <laughs> Look at that, y'all. Going in again. Mm. Okay. Growing up, my mama made cabbage. That's all I need. I ain't need nothing now. Go ahead, keep it. Fat back, salt joel or something in it, and some cornbread. That was it. I didn't need nothing else in it, y'all. Of course, that juice in there, 
You got your cornbread. That's what that juice in there for, y'all. Put in that pot liquor. Like I said, y'all, I love a lot of meat in my cabin. My mom was still here and around. So, baby, I want more cabbage than meat. <laughs> she loved it, but hey, that's fine. There's more meat for me to eat. Look at that. Anyway, y'all, I'm going to close this video out. Mm. That's New Year's Day right there, y'all. Cabbage. Black eyed peas, some chitlins, cornbread. It's on. On and pop. So, I'm gonna close this video out so I can finish my, get my cornbread out, finish my meal. If you like the video, mm, hold on now. Like the video, please share, please comment. Please subscribe. Please follow my social media account: Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Remember the hashtag 2023. Just show some kindness, Old School Soul Food. Till next time, have a blessed Old School Soul Food day, and I will definitely see y'all in the next video. Y'all have a happy blessed New Year. Love y'all. Bye.